having their morning breakfast. As you can see, they make a mess of it. But they are doing great. And they are gonna get ready to go to their new home here pretty soon. Good night. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and go check out our Instagram pages where I post daily original photos and updates on our life and a lot of our animals. So, as you saw, the other day we went on our 100th day of homeschool trip up to Lake Tahoe to go swimming. So, this channel is not just going to be about snakes in the long run. It's going to be about our life in general and that does include snakes and other reptiles quite a bit. So I'm going to dub Sundays as Serpent Sundays on our channel. So now you're going to start seeing the Serpent Sundays title when you see these videos posted on Sunday. So I don't know, I thought that'd be fun to label the videos because we're going to have a lot of changes coming up probably in the next six to eight months and there are going to be other videos on this channel that are maybe aren't reptile related. So I wanted to make sure for our subscribers that are specifically here for our reptile keeping or rat breeding that there is a specific day that you can tune into our channel that you know there's going to be a guaranteed video that you're going to enjoy. So welcome to the first ever Serpent Sundays and we have some exciting news. If you don't follow our Instagram page, please go do that right now. Uh, the other day we just couldn't wait for the video for this Sunday. Uh, we wanted to share it with everybody. We had our first ever lock over here at Morphed Footprints and that was super exciting. And it is one of the most anticipated pairs for us for this upcoming season. So that was really exciting to see. Let me show you right now. They are still locked up and have been locked up for about 24 to 30 hours now. So that is absolutely awesome to see. Um, if you don't remember or you haven't seen any of our unboxing videos of these animals, uh, the male is a pastel spot nose leopard 100% head clown and the female is a lesser enchi 100% head clown. So the ultimate goal would be to get a Batman combo. Whether it be a lesser Batman, Enchi Batman, Enchi lesser Batman, any of those, e even just any, the lesser leopard clown, any of those. Visual clowns at this point are what we are going for. Uh, the Batman would be just absolutely awesome to get any combination of those. So that is what we are ultimately going for and we will see. Uh, this female is over 3,000 grams. It was not told to us um, how many eggs that she dropped in the past seasons, but based on her size, I'm hoping we get a decent sized clutch out of her. That would be absolutely awesome. And then so far, we paired up four total males with females for this week. Our temperatures are dropping this weekend and we have a storm coming in. And if you don't know when you're breeding, um, it is said that as the barometric pressure drops when storm systems roll in, that that sends a signal to ball pythons that it is time to breed. So I decided to throw some males in the tubs this week and it ended up working out in our favor. We had three out of four lock. I was able to visualize those locks so that was very, very exciting. Some of our other snakes that I put together that locked were Homie, our pastel clown. I was able to visually see him lock with Roxanne, our GHI Mojave. Neither of these are proven breeders, so it was really exciting to see them lock after about a day. They didn't stay locked very long, but it was nice to see that initial lock. Another one that I paired was Rocky, who is an Orange Dream Mojave, 100% het clown. I decided, I, you know, I was really undecided on who to pair him with, so I decided to throw him in with our super fired flicker, and within a day and a half, they were locked as well. So that was super awesome to see. And then we have two other females that are kind of borderline whether they're gonna be ready as far as weight. These are two of our Craigslist pickups. 
we really aren't sure on their ages and so we're kind of just waiting for those cues and signs and to make sure they're up to weight before we try to pair them. Um, Butterscotch and Sunshine are those two Craigslist pickups. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a weight on them right now and let's see where they're at. All right, let's get a current weight on a few of our other girls. Where is Buttersnatch? Buttersnatch is in shed, but I wanna get a current weight on her and she is a feisty thing. So let's see if we can get a current weight. All right, so let's see if we can get a current weight on her. She is coming along beautifully. Hoping a few more months and she'll be ready to meet a lovely young man we have for her. And if you can see in the video, she is going into her shed. So that means she is growing nicely. All right, there was one more that I wanted to weigh, Sunshine. And she is also in shed. And she doesn't really go into the blue, she goes into the pink. Come here, you. Hello. What's up, beautiful? All right, let's get you in this little tiny bucket. There you go. And beautiful sunshine, I would say that that is up to weight. I'll probably see where she's at next month and think about pairing her up with somebody. Usually you want to pair up anywhere from 12 to 1500 grams. So she is just about there and she eats great. She has never missed a meal since we've had her. So there you go, beautiful. Now with these two being our Craigslist pickups, it's always hard when you pick up from Craigslist and they don't come from reputable breeders or maybe they did in the past and the owner just didn't give you that information. We were told that Butterscotch is a 2018. So technically she's been through two winters. As soon as she's up to weight, then she should be ready to pair. Um, but like I said, none of the information is always a guarantee. So you kind of just have to wing it. Um, we were not told the year of birth for Sunshine. So Sunshine has been putting on good weight. She's been bowl wrapping. She's been showing signs that she may be um, developing follicles. So I might just put a male with her just to kind of see what happens as soon as she hits uh, that weight mark that I'm looking for. I try to pair up once my females are closer to 1500 grams just to make sure that they are healthy and good to go for egg production. And we also are gonna have one more female that's probably gonna be coming next week or the week after. And this female is breeder ready. So we are gonna be looking forward to getting that one and showing you that. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to see that pick up here in the next week or so. With this being our first season breeding, we have six females that are up to weight and ready to breed so far. Uh, like I said, those other two may be ready here in the next few months. But having these six ready to go is really exciting and really awesome for a first time breeder like us. Uh, the pairs that we chose, we chose a recessive project and a codon project, as well as making some hets here for the future. So we are super excited, even though it doesn't seem like we have as many pairs going on as maybe like some other breeders. We are super excited for this new start and this journey ahead of us. We expect some great things out of these ladies here in the upcoming months. So that is it for our first ever Serpent Sundays. I hope you liked seeing some of the pairs that we have going on over here and seeing our first ever locks. We were super excited to share that with our viewers and our community on Instagram. So that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, stay sane, get out there and make your own footprints. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.